Hi, I'm Emma Chamberlain, and this is everything I eat in a day. The first thing I do when I wake up is check the time, because I actually don't really set alarms. So I'll look at my phone, see what time it is, and if I got any pressing texts or emails or anything, I'll respond to those, and then it's coffee time immediately. I get right out of bed, don't brush my teeth, don't wash my face, I go straight downstairs to either make my first coffee or go get coffee with someone. When I'm at home and I'm making coffee, I'm using my brand, Chamberlain Coffee, every day. It would be kind of weird if I didn't, right? So I'll usually make a latte and I take two shots of espresso, put some vanilla almond milk in it, unsweetened, Khalifa brand, will not accept any other brand. Actually, I'm open-minded, but that's the one I'm using right now. And then I put vanilla nut pod creamer in it, and that's my home recipe. When I'm going out for coffee, recently I've been getting cold brew with almond milk because I feel like sometimes they put too much milk in lattes when I go out, and I don't like that. I used to not be a breakfast person, but recently I've been really hungry in the mornings, and I don't know why. My Breakfast almost every single day is two fried eggs, very, very cooked, like probably too well done to a point where most people wouldn't want to eat it. I like my eggs almost burnt. Mmm, Emma's burnt eggs, nothing better than that. I guess it's over hard eggs. Two over hard eggs, salt on it, pepper on it, everything but the bagel seasoning on it, and then I put some Cholula on that, and then I cut up a whole avocado, put that on top, and then I eat it. And that's my breakfast every day. It's like nice and light, because I'm not really a breakfast person, but it's a great way to start my day. A Little bit of fat and protein, never hurt anyone. <laughs> After breakfast, usually I will start working on whatever I need to work on. After I get a decent chunk of work done, then I'll take a shower, wash my face, brush my teeth, do all of that. And sometimes I'll work out, but sometimes I like working out more at night. I really just shove in a workout wherever I can fit it. And some days it just doesn't fit at all. I try to work out four to five times a week, but you know, we do what we can. Lunch for me is the neglected meal, okay? I don't think about it much and it's always postmated. I never cook lunch. I could not tell you one time that I've cooked a lunch. Recently, I've been ordering this salad from this restaurant called Zinc, and it's kale, lentils, carrots, hard-boiled egg, and like this nice, salty, shallot-y vinaigrette on top. And it sounds like it would be so unpleasant and boring, but it's actually so good, and so I've been eating that a lot for lunch. Sometimes I'll get like a burrito, or a burrito bowl from a place called Takaya in LA. It's so good. They do cauliflower rice. They have like the best black beans, great tofu, great tortillas, lots of avocado in it, lots of salsa, or Erwan. Honestly, I could go to Erwan for every single meal. Erwan's a grocery store that also does like hot bar and they have the best vegetables. So sometimes I'll just get a crazy like vegetable plate thing from there. They have like buffalo cauliflower where they make cauliflower into buffalo wings. Anyway, I could keep going about this. I'm a vegetarian. I was vegan for a little bit, but I'm a vegetarian just because I grew up vegetarian, so I've never had meat in my diet. I continue to be a vegetarian, mainly because I'm a picky eater, and trying new meat was not something I wanted to do. But I do love eggs a lot, and I love cheese, although cheese is not something that agrees very well with me. But I'm a very picky eater, so there's a lot of foods that I'll avoid. But as I'm getting older, I'm starting to become a little bit more flexible, but mushrooms, mayonnaise, ranch, any type of like really overly cooked steamed leafy green, no. Not a big fan of celery. I also don't like runny eggs. Any runny egg yolk, out of here. Not for me. And there's definitely more but we'd be here all day. Like cottage cheese, no. Like I'm out. There's a lot of things like that. I could literally list like 500 foods that I don't like, so we'll stop there. <laughs> so snacks. 
I'm a big snacker. Actually, is that true? It depends. But my favorite snack for the past year has been these flax crackers. They're called Mary's Gone Crackers. They're like flax seed, other seed, who knows what's in it. Bunch of seeds in a cracker. And they taste so good. And I eat those with spicy hummus. There's a spicy hummus at this farmer's market, literally three minutes away from me, every Sunday. I don't know what they do to it, but it's so incredibly good, I dream about it. It's the best thing ever. It's like one of my favorite foods. Um, another snack is I make little mini cauliflower pizzas because I found these little cauliflower thins and I just put a little bit of marinara sauce on it, a little bit of pesto, a little bit of vegan mozzarella. Um, sometimes I'll chop up a little veggie Italian sausage, put that on there, maybe some green olives, bake that for a little bit, put some nutritional yeast on that. That sounds weird, but it's really good. It's not like amazing, but it's also like, it works. But I'm also somebody that will just take a jar of peanut butter or take a jar of almond butter, like any jar of nut butter I can find, and I'll just take a spoonful of it and eat that. Recently, I, I got sent this stuff called granola butter, and when it was sent to me, I was like, what? Like, what does that mean? Or plums, like when plums are in season, I can just shove down like 10 of those. For drinks, obviously I drink coffee a lot, but I'm trying to consume a little bit less caffeine. So recently I've been drinking iced herbal tea, randomly, and I really like it. I don't like iced black tea or iced green tea, but I like iced herbal tea. Another weird drink though that I have one to two times a day is sparkling water with apple cider vinegar in it. And you might be really confused, but I, about that. I mean, that's weird, I get it. But it helps with my digestion and I have really shitty digestion. So that's another one. I also like the flavor of it now, which is kind of scary and weird, but kind of tastes good to me now. But I hate soda. I don't like sweet drinks. And to be honest, I'm not really a dessert person in general. I'm somebody who more craves like crunchy, salty foods over like sweet foods. But at the same time, if you know I'm at dinner and somebody next to me orders like a big chocolate chip cookie or something, when it's in front of me, you best believe I'm eating a lot of it. Dinner time. I feel like this is my favorite meal of the day to be honest, cause it's just like, go crazy. If I'm cooking for myself, it's usually something pretty low maintenance. I'll take like some frozen vegetables of some sort, heat those up, cut up some tofu, fry that in some olive oil, um, mix that in with the veggies, take some rice, some brown rice, mix that in there. And then I love putting yellow curry sauce all over that and then I season it however, I mean I literally am like so random with the seasoning, salt, pepper, maybe throw some sesame seeds in there, maybe sometimes sesame oil in there, I don't even know if that makes sense, but I'll do it. I will also make pasta, I love garbanzo bean pasta the Bonza brand, and I'll literally just make a bunch of that. It has a bunch of protein in it, so it's like easy, and then I just make that and I put pesto on it in nutritional yeast and I'll eat a whole bowl of that and then call it a night. Like a massive bowl of that and call that dinner. Where's the vegetables? Who knows? As for foods that I love but I don't eat every day, I have quite a few different kind of comfort meals. Number one would have to be Monty's Burgers in LA. It's a vegan, all vegan burger place. I get veggie burger with lettuce, cheese, the burger obviously, pickles. Is there even pickles on it? It doesn't matter. The moral of the story is they have this spicy habanero sauce that they put on it. And it's so, it's so good. And then I get a side of it and I get tater tots and I dip the tots in the spicy habanero sauce and it's life changing. I also love falafel, falafel wrap with hummus and tahini on it and like pita bread with the hummus. Ah, oh, I actually, I'm gonna have that for dinner. That sounds so good. Also burritos, like from a really good place. There's a burrito place in my hometown that just makes these massive burritos and they have the best green salsa and all it takes, I just get rice, black beans, cheese, avocado. That's it, it's that simple. 
with green sauce on top. Also, I love breakfast potatoes. So like sometimes I just wanna order just that, just a side of breakfast potatoes and that could be a great snack for me too. Again, could go on all day about this. I've been waiting my whole life to be on this show, you guys don't understand. And that's why I just keep talking. Anyway. <laughs> and that's everything I eat in a day. Make sure to check out Harper's Bazaar. Go subscribe to Harper's Bazaar first. And after that, uh, you can check out my coffee company, chamberlaincoffee.com. You can check out my YouTube channel if you wanna hang out with me a little more. Bye guys.